Boundary Waters is the second novel in William Kent Kruger's Cork O'Connor mystery series, set in the wilderness of northern Minnesota. It blends elements of crime, suspense, and the rich landscape of the Northwoods, where human malice often collides with the unforgiving forces of nature. The story begins when a famous country singer, Shiloh, disappears in the Quetico Superior Wilderness, a vast expanse of lakes and forest along the U.S., Canada border nicknamed the Boundary Waters. Shiloh's father, who is dying of cancer, fears he will never see her alive again and is desperate to find her. He enlists the help of former Chicago cop turned private investigator Cork O'Connor to lead the search. Cork is familiar with the terrain, being part Native American and part Irish, and having lived in the area for most of his life. He assembles a search party that includes not only seasoned wilderness guides, but also Shiloh's estranged mother, her aggressive manager, and a few others who are not necessarily what they seem. As the search unfolds, the group must confront not only the harsh and unforgiving wilderness, but also their own personal demons and secrets. As the searchers penetrate deeper into the boundary waters, they find evidence that Shiloh may be alive. But they soon realize they are not alone in their quest. A pair of cold-blooded killers are also on Shiloh's trail hired by someone from her past who has a score to settle. It becomes clear that Shiloh had stumbled upon a dangerous secret, one that her would-be assassins are determined to keep buried at all costs. Meanwhile, Cork is dealing with personal struggles. His relationship with Joe, his lawyer wife, is under strain, and he's trying to understand his place in the Ojibwe community, to which he's related through his family's lineage. These internal battles sometimes hinder but ultimately enrich his tenacity and capability as a detective. As the search intensifies, Shiloh's past is slowly revealed. She had been adopted at a young age after her parents were killed in a car accident. Shiloh's biological father, it turns out, was involved in a decades-old smuggling incident. He and his companions had stolen a valuable cache of gemstones, killing a man in the process. They had hidden the gems somewhere in the boundary waters, intending to return for them later, but they were captured before they had the chance. One of the men involved in the gemstone heist had died in prison. The other, a psychopath named Jack Winter, was recently released. It is Winter who hired the killers to track down Shiloh. She was innocent of the original crime, but had unknowingly come into possession of a map that showed the location of the stolen gems after her adopted father had found it among her biological parents' remnants. Unraveling this mystery, Shiloh had come to the Boundary Waters, intending to find the stones herself. The searchers and killers converge at the site where the gemstones are hidden, leading to a violent confrontation. Winter and his thugs arrive ready to claim their prize and eliminate any witnesses. In a gripping climax, Cork and the search party must use all their wits and wilderness skills to survive. In the process, they're forced to confront their own mortality and the lengths they're willing to go to protect each other and bring Shiloh to safety. In the resulting showdown, Cork manages to leverage the environment to their advantage. Shiloh is ultimately saved by the combined efforts of Cork and the others, while Winter and his accomplices are subdued, though not without casualties. The gemstones prove to be both a blessing and a curse, a treasure that had brought only death and misery. In the end, it seems better to leave them lost to the wilderness, untouched and unclaimed. The novel concludes with Shiloh reuniting with her dying father, a poignant resolution to her quest for identity and legacy. Cork's relationship with Joe shows signs of mending, and he further cements his role as a protector of the land and people he so deeply cherishes. Boundary Waters not only presents a thrilling mystery, but also delves into themes of heritage, family dynamics, and the primal allure of nature. Throughout the story, the reader witnesses Cork O'Connor's growth as a complex character, grappling with his own identity as he navigates the challenges thrown at him by both man and nature in the unforgiving wilderness. The novel is a powerful blend of human drama and natural beauty, a tale that holds the reader captive until its final, heart-stopping conclusion. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.